Hello my friends. I'm passing my hand. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather. This is Honest Homemaking and something has been weighing on my heart lately. Um, I've been noticing it and I don't know if it's just, you know, how when you're thinking about something your brain picks up on it in different places. Uh, but basically it's been weighing on my heart to take action. So what I mean by take action is I am finding myself in that constant loop again. Dog is not barking. In that constant loop again where I am overwhelmed, I am stressed out. Um, things are not getting done like they're you know like they should. Um, it is my job as the homemaker, as the caretaker of the house, the home manager, whatever you want to call it to make sure that our home runs efficiently and effectively, and it isn't. <laughs> um, I wake up every day, again, to a dirty kitchen and a sink full of dishes. Here's our yesterday's dinner, still on the stove. Um, dirty dishes from the day. In here we have two baskets of clean laundry that I washed. I think I brought them up here three days ago. They've been sitting in our living room, unfolded, which means that three more days of laundry needs to be done because I haven't done any laundry in three days. So there's three more loads of laundry to do, plus these two hampers full. Plus in my bedroom right now, which I can't show you because Mason's in there sleeping and I don't want to wake him up. My bedroom is just exploded with laundry. Like literally, you there's not even a path through the floor. Like the bed is cleaned off because, you know, we sleep in the bed every night, but there's literally laundry all around it, completely around the bed. The bathroom is actually clean at the moment, uh, which is a miracle. But our tables, our tables every day from the night before where we had our dinner. Chris had a glass of wine. That's actually my dinner plate. Um, those are both my cups. Like, And, you know, I'm probably going to get some comments from people saying that I'm lazy. Blah, blah, blah. I, I get those. Um, I understand that some people may think that I'm, I'm lazy. Um... But I know in my heart that that's not true. I know that I am busy from the time I wake up until the time I go to bed. I have four children. Um, we have two dogs. We live in a very, very small house. Um, there are six to seven to sometimes eight of us living in a three-bedroom, small bedrooms, one-bathroom house. So there are just some changes that I need to make in my life again, and I feel like it's on my heart to share that with you. Um, I don't know if there's one other person that feels overwhelmed like me, or if there are a hundred or a thousand. I don't, I don't know, but I know that I cannot be alone. I need to figure out something that is going to work for me, um, which means it may work for you too. Uh, so I'm just going to sit down and try to come up with just five things that I can do tonight to, or today to make tomorrow better because I'm feeling very overwhelmed and I don't want to be as overwhelmed tomorrow as I am today. So if I just do something today that will make tomorrow a little easier, then I can do something else the next day to make the next day easier and maybe that will snowball into me finding, I mean... It's weird because I'm not feeling like depressed or anything like that. It's not postpartum depression. It's, it's just overwhelm. It's just, and I do have help. Um, I do. I have the, the kids have the older two kids. They have chores that they do every single day when they come home from school, they take out the trash, they pick up the dishes, they feed the dogs. So they do, they do help. And you know, Chris is out working hard every day. His job has him, and maybe that's, you know, normally I rely on him a lot to help me, and his job has him working like 12-hour days, which means he's barely coming home and wanting to see his kids and play with us and hang out with us, and, and I don't want him to come home after a 12-hour day and feel like he needs to do the dishes or make our dinner, or, and he will. Of course he will. Yesterday, he's been going to the grocery store for me every single day because I'm just, I'm overwhelmed, and I'm behind, and... It's my job. I feel like, no one's telling me that, but I feel like it's my job to get this stuff under control. Um, so I don't know if I said it, but take action. That's what has been on my brain. Do something. Just do something today. Please. 
Uh, anyway, so if you've ever found yourself feeling like that, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I don't know yet what I'm going to come up with. Um, I like lists. Uh, they, I don't really, I don't know why. I can't explain why. I had somebody ask me why I bother taking the time to write a list one time. It just, seeing them get checked off makes me feel better and it motivates me to do more. I know that that doesn't work for everyone, but that's what works for me. But I'm even feeling overwhelmed with all of my planners and all of that stuff. So I bought some cheapo, cheapo post-it notes. I'm going to take one of these and write down five things that I can do before bed tonight that will make my day easier tomorrow. Oh, like we're, t like we're sitting here, like I wish I had a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, but I don't. Um, but we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk like friends. We're in my kitchen, which I barely cleaned a spot. Okay, this is real friendship here. I'm showing you my mess. Please tell me that you can relate, that you had to wipe off some of the table so that we can have a spot to sit. Uh, but that is what it is. That's that's my reality right now. But we're working on it. So I have heard of Fly Lady. I like a lot of her concepts. It's super bright out there because of the snow, so I'm sorry I'm a little squinty. Um, I just, I can't, I don't feel like I'm at a place yet where I can, you know, just say, do a lot of laundry a day because I'm so backed up on laundry. And the thing is, is I can spend all day getting caught up on laundry, but then I don't want to do laundry again for a week because it took me three hours to do the laundry. So what I would like to do is just focus on doing, a, a, like working on it for a certain amount of time a day until it's caught up. Like that way I don't have to spend three hours working on it. I can just spend 30 minutes a day. Like I know I need to do a load of laundry a day, right? So if I... Start one load, wash, dry, fold and put away that load, and one extra that I've already got clean up in the bedroom or in the living room. It'll only take me a few days to get caught up, and I won't have to set and do it all at one time. Uh, and I definitely, I know doing the dishes before bed is one of my biggest downfalls. I hate doing the dishes before bed. By the end of the day, after I've taken care of everybody, after I have made everybody dinner, I don't... I don't have it in me. I do, though. That's the thing. I I deserve to wake up to a clean kitchen. I deserve to do this for myself so that I'm not feeling guilty every morning when I wake up. So that is something that I want to put on my list. I just, I want to say negative things like I suck at it or I can't do it, but I know that that's how negative mindset works. If I tell myself repeatedly that I can't do it, I'm not going to do it. I am going to go to bed with a clean and empty sink. Like I could do a quick pickup of the living room, like five minutes, it doesn't have to, I'm afraid I'm gonna overwhelm myself with stuff and then I won't do it because I'll be tired and exhausted from the day of taking care of my family. Um, but I'm gonna put quick living room pickup. Oh, you know what? I could get Chris's clothes ready the night before. I enjoy taking care of him. He takes care of us. He works so hard for us. He pitches in and helps out around the house. He does, he goes above and beyond for his family. So one of the little things that I do to show him that I love and care for him is I iron his clothes. He has, he has to wear business clothes to work. So I iron his clothes every day. And, um, that's just a, one of the little ways that I love. I love him. You know, I, I'm showing, actively showing him love, but if I get his clothes ready the night before, I'm still showing him love and I don't have to fight with getting the older two up for school. Mason's been waking up in the morning fussing, wanting to eat. So it's laundry and dishes, living room, wipe down the bath, or not the bathroom, the sink. Lay out clothes for tomorrow. What's something else I could do in five minutes that would make the next day easier? Huh. <sighs> Let's see. Well, what am I, let me ask myself, what do I feel behind on? I feel behind majorly on the laundry. Oh, I just thought of something. We're overwhelmed with stuff again, because the, for some reason, the only time I want to like declutter my house is come springtime, which it's March, so spring is coming. Um, but I'm feeling overwhelmed with stuff again, so I could spend a few minutes 
every day chucking stuff. Doesn't have to be a lot, it could just be five minutes, just like the quick pickup in the laundry or living room. Okay, that sounds good to me. That's another fly lady thing too. So here is my rough draft post-it. Now I'm gonna try to pretty it up a little bit, which is hard with my chicken scratch handwriting. Here, 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 here. Do you wanna show the camera? A me. A me? I said a me. Did you draw Leo? Your watch. Can I draw Leo? Here's your head. And here's your body. Here's an arm. And an arm. And a leg. And a leg. Here's your eyes, your mouth, an ear, an ear. Look, it's Leo. Oh, wait, where's your feet? Who is that? Oh, you my toe. Where's your toes? <laughs> well, put your toes on there. Okay. I'm going to waste 60,000 post-its trying to get it to fit just right. And this, see, the amount of time it's taken me to make this video, how much stuff could I have had done? But I, like I said, I feel like it's on my heart to share it. I finally got what we'll do. Um, oh my God, I'm so squinty. Let's see here I have laundry 30 minutes, one full load, plus extra. Quick living room cleanup, load dishwasher, hand wash the large items, five minute declutter, iron Christmas work clothes, and then yay me. Cause you know, we gotta celebrate the yay me. So I'm going to take this post-it that I made. I'm going to stick it on my foggy kitchen window that I hate. We need to replace. But, oh no, I can't stick it there because, let me show you why. When I stick it there, I can't read the writing. So I'm going to have to find somewhere else to stick it. About, I don't know. Maybe just on this cabinet right here.
Back to 